Hi, I'm back. So my book is nice and dry. Um, we're ready to go. I found some pictures that I wanted to use for the end plates and I'll show you that in a little bit. But the first thing we need to do is to audition thread that we want to use for our book. Now, um, embroidery floss works excellent. You need to have something that is super strong just super strong and can't stretch. So something like a yarn, no good, because it stretches. Um, this is waxed linen. Um, it would be great. I, I This is what I use a lot. Um, when you purchase your waxed linen or if you are gonna use embroidery thread, get a needle that has a really large eye so that you can put all six strands of your embroidery thread through. So, um, I bought mine on Amazon. I got the needles and I bought multiple colors of the waxed linen. I haven't used that color yet. Huh. I was really leaning towards the embroidery thread, but I think I'm going to use this really nice neutral waxed linen. All right, so. Huh. To do this, it's really simple. Um, you need to have at least two and a little bit lengths of what you need to uh, sew it through. Okay, we um, need to thread our needle. Now um, I individually punch these pages, remember? So they were kind of like all over the place. So this is what I did. I had all of these old um, sewing machine needles just sticking around. So I put them in so that everything is lined up. All right. Then I put these clips on so that they can't move. So now I'm going to take these needles out. And I have a nice little sandwich here. I'm going to put the... Um, book plates in at the end, the end plates in, end papers, uh, just so they don't get scratched up. So let's get started. Oh, how could that be? Okay, um, this waxed linen is nice because it's already waxed and if you've sewn for a long time you know that waxing your thread helps things glide through. So I'm just going to Push this needle through the center, so straight through all those holes. And sometimes it takes a little pulling to get that big needle through. Okay, so there it is. Um, just a second, I can't remember. Okay. remember which was my front signature and which was my back. So this is my front signature. So all you do is put your needle through the center hole. All right. Then you go through the center hole that you punched through, through your book here. Like that. Run your thread up to the top hole. Back in. I'm just going to do this like this because my fingers just aren't as strong as they used to be. All right, and then I'm going to go through the top hole here. Get that through the hole. All righty. Get it pulled nice and tight, leaving a nice little tail here. You want a nice long tail in the center. Okay, I do not want to sew my clip in. <laughs> that would be bad. All right, so I'm going under that. So then you skip. Here you go all the way down to the last hole and go in, making sure that clip bail is out of the way too.
All right, there we go. Then you go through the last hole in the bottom of your book. Here. Then the tricky one. Let me just see how I'm looking here. Perfect. Okay, so now you want to go back up through this center hole. Through the center hole here. But you want to hold it, um, the string back out of the way so you don't split it when you're going in. So get your end that you started with, pull it to the opposite side, hold it with your hand, and then run your needle back in alongside that thread, trying not to split it as you go back up through. There we go. Perfect. All right. And you give it a good little tug. Now, both of these threads are on one side of this center piece here. So take your needle and go under. One last chance to get it really good and tight. And just give it a couple good little knots. Okay. And then go ahead and just leave your strings nice and long for right now. We'll come up with something fun to do with those later. So let's take our clips off. see what we have so far. It's always the most exciting part. So making sure everything's in there just right. looks really good. So let's go ahead and do our other signature on the other side. Okay. So means I have all this stuff just sitting here. Let's go ahead and get our thread. One, two, and a little bit. it away. Let's see. So yeah, you know, um, they do make book binding, well, it helps when you use the right thread. They do make book binding thread in its white um, thread, or off-white. So that's one option. Another option would be like um, carpet thread. If you've ever used carpet thread, you know that that is really strong also. So let's go ahead and get this one lined up the way I did my last one. So I just, I just took each page and just went down with the needle through each little hole. So they're all lined up. Finding the hole sometimes can be hard. Um, this one may have ended up right there because it's sewn down the center too, zigzagged. So let me zoom you back out a little. There you go. So doing this, you could do it individually with your needle that you're going to use um, when you're stringing them in. But boy, that's really hard because they flip around and they get really mixed up. So just take one second and find something that you have that you can 
put them on here with. These uh, dictionary pages are hard to find the hole. And there, and there, and there. So get that all lined up. Make sure it's nice and straight up and down. Put your clip on. And then let's do the center one. We're going to do it just the same way. Being careful not to push that out. I had trouble with that the first time around. I pushed it up a couple times. So I'm sorry you can't see, but I need to just see the hole and poke my needle through. Getting them lined up as I go down through the stack. You can see it goes pretty fast. Um, this little vellum one only has one hole in it, so we're going to have to look at that and make sure it's going to be okay. I, I'm sure it will be. We can do something to make it not want to spin around. Um, almost done. So I'm filming these kind of ahead. So this weekend is the Super Bowl. For us, so got invited to my son and his family's house. So I had just ran out while everything was drying and bought some Super Bowl snacks. So we'll be ready. I've never really been that interested in the Super Bowl, but boy, I love the commercials. I've always loved the commercials, and I am a um, certified Geico commercial fan. <laughs> I was really happy that they started showing their old ones and even though I have enjoyed them every every year for a long time I uh, had forgotten about a couple of them so do you know what day it is do you know what day it is and it's Wednesday <laughs> hump day I just think they're adorable so anyway we got the middle through so let's put a clip on this end Kind of help it from shifting around too much. And then we'll just do the same down here. So, if this is too boring for you, just go ahead and fast forward. We're just going to sew them in again after this. So you'll get a chance to see it again, but if you want to fast forward through that too, that's great. Um, and then we'll put our end papers in, and that'll be it for today, I think. Then we get to do some more decorating inside. That is like everybody's most favorite part. So. Um, We need to make some um, journaling tags, and I want to do some more um, just fun little embellishments. So, so there's that. Let's make sure they're straight. Everything looks straight up and down. Looks great. Let's pin it in. There we go. Pull these out. So, um, when you start junk journaling, I really do think it should come with a warning. <laughs> and the warning is, if you kind of teeter on the edge of um, just saving everything anyway, <laughs> junk journaling may not be for you um, because it turns you from, you know, just somebody who saves a lot of things to one step away from a hoarder. Uh, that... That's my experience. I mean, why else do people save things like expended sewing machine needles? Um, but I have a bunch of them over there in my little 
holder. Oh wait, all right. When you do this, remember to move this out of the way or you're gonna sew it in and that would be a really sad day. Okay, hope it didn't wiggle. Up oh, there it comes. It's coming through. Okay, and then I'm inside there, so come come out of that. Skip this down to the bottom. The five hole pamphlet stitch is actually very easy too, and that's the one I used in my little fairy journal. So um, next time I'll show you that one, but just for, if, if this is your first one, because I'm not sure how many people on my, my channel have ever even heard of a junk journal before. And then through the bottom. There we go. Get it nice and tight. Making sure we didn't go through any of our clip. Let's just get these out of the way. Beans, we've already gone through them. Okay. I don't need that one either. So let's pull it nice and tight. Mm, really tight. And remember, we're going to pull this one this way and then stick this right back up in here in the center hole. Come right back up. back up through that hole. Give it a good pull and tie it. Oh, wait a minute, we forgot to go under this. It doesn't do a lot of good to tie it if you're not under this. You wanna be around that center piece so it doesn't pull back through. And don't scratch up your pictures. Be careful. There we go. So now tie the knot. One more. All right. And then put those off. So, like I said, the hoarder that I am, I'll save that nice piece of linen. And then I'm going to put my needle away so I don't lose it. Put this out of the way. So now you'll get to see what I meant when I said that you will see, first of all, see how nicely these two pages coordinate with each other? That's really super nice. You always see this little piece right here between your two signatures. And I'm just helping them to get flattened in. All right, so there we go. We don't need to go through it all again. We've seen it before. Oh, I never showed you this when we finished yesterday. So I added this little flower down here at the bottom. I thought that was cute and added the paper and then here's my journaling card. So, so that one's done too. All right. So on to this. So this journal is um, is really not very tall. It is um, seven and a half inches tall and five and a half inches wide. We don't want to put our um, 
sheet down into this part where the book folds. We want to stay above that. So five inches, five and a half inches from the edge of this to that would cover the whole thing. And you don't have to cover the whole thing. So let's just see what we like. So, So let's pull this out and see where we are. Let's just cut this white off. I think I'd like to go seven inches tall total. So I'm going to cut a little bit more off of the bottom. And a little bit more off the top. Let's see how this looks. That looks really nice. Um, hmm. I'm thinking I'd kind of like to have a white border around it. Now the ones that I printed for this small of a book um, would have been too big. So let's let's think about that. Um, hold on just a second. Okay, so here is what it looks like with the picture trimmed and then just a little white frame around it. And I won't leave it completely white. There's really nothing left in this journal that's completely white, but it really competed with that printed background. So I'm just gonna give it the slightest little antique around the edge and this is just a piece of um, cardstock that I put it on and I ended up trimming the picture down to I measured it four four and three quarters inches wide by six and seven eighths inches long and then made this little border around the edge. So let's see what that looks like. I really like it. All right, kind of makes it pop out just a little bit. So let's go ahead and um, add this in. And so the way you do it is you just use your Fabri-Tac glue. I just bought more today. I always use my Michael's 40% off coupon and buy it because it's so expensive but a bottle lasts a really long time even if you use a lot like I do it's it goes a long ways so there's that and it's good quality glue which is really nice okay so get it centered up so there's no glue on your fingers do not get it into the part where it bends give it a nice little press into your book I love 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 these old illustrations they just make me happy. They so much remind me of my grandma. My grandma, she was a real letter writer. So my whole life she would send us letters. And we only lived two hours apart, saw her all the time. But she still wrote letters. And I didn't write her as much as she wanted me to. So she would send me self-addressed stamped envelopes. <laughs> Makes me really sad. I, would love to be able to write her a letter now. <laughs> Especially since I've got to be a grandma. I just would love to talk with her about being a grandma. Okay, so let's push this out of the way and let's trim up this other little card. 
She always had a parakeet. She had lots of different ones over the years. Four, seven, five. Little Petey was the one I remember the most. I could make him sing if I got the egg beater. Remember one of those egg beaters where you turn the little handle and uh, it would go like that and he'd just tweet away. <laughs> Yeah. So this one, the artist signed it down here. And so I'm gonna, I should have saved that last little bit, but I'm gonna cut it off, add it back on like the rest of it. All right, and then I need to go to six and seven eighths. Six and seven eighths would be right there. So that one's sure pretty. Uh, this down here at the bottom didn't cut very well. Okay. And then I think I have to get another. Nope, this one's big enough. Good. All right. So we'll just put more glue on the back of this picture. The one thing I really like about using a printable, it gives you so much more confidence. If you only had one of these pictures, you know, like if you had gone and bought a pack of paper and it had, this is the one, be more nervous about cutting it up, just trying different things. But if I don't like how this turns out, I'll just go print another one. Ta-da. All right. Let's get it on there nice and straight. I might not have to trim this one very much. And remember this glue is positionable for a few seconds after you put it down. So like right there I was able to, you know, eyeball it to get it nice and even all around. Awesome. And let's trim this up so it's about the same as all the others. Let's see if this fits. Looks very nice in the back of our book. And these roses and these roses look really nice next to each other. Thing about my grandma that always cracked me up. Um, when we got married, we lived in Corvallis, Oregon, and she lived in North Bend. And um, she'd still send letters. And so you'd be reading her letters, and her letters were always the same thing. Oh, the weather was this today. You know, the wind was blowing. It always blows at the coast here. Um, took the dog for a walk and so you'd be like three paragraphs in and there'd be one little sentence we're gonna stop by on Saturday for a little while <laughs> so you always made sure you read all of her letters because she always had something in there tucked in the middle somewhere that you should know <laughs> I miss her okay let's glue this puppy in all that boy I tell you what these roses these roses this blue this blue it really does kind of blend in I'm glad we went with that little bit of white hadn't really planned that out hadn't thought that through but they're a coordinator, that's for sure. Maybe almost too much. Would have been without that white. 
very pretty. Okay. So this is what the spine of our book looks like. You can see it's got the um, pieces of wax linen right there. And because we use that um, wax linen and not like the pink or the, the green, it just really kind of blends in, which looks really nice. We still have the very defined um, bits to our book. I got goop off of my, not goop, but fuzz balls I need to pick off of there. So there's the back and the front. So we are going to be coming up with decorations for our book and then I think I'm going to do something special that I have never seen right here before. Um, not really another signature but a little something is going to go right there I think. And um, this will get much fatter. Right now when you close the book it kind of closes about right. But when you add all the embellishments we're going to add, it will get thicker. So we'll add front art and a closure on it later. So until next time, this is Cindy from Vintage to New. Bye-bye.